So your first alert forecast really starts out closer to 60, rain gear in hand, rain gear ready to go, that is for sure, because we do start out so soggy. So kids standing around at the bus stop, even if you look out your door and you say it's not raining now, yeah, the umbrella is necessary. Coming home, now that's going to be a different story because as we walk through this first alert future cast today, we're actually going to continue to see these bands of rain again fill in. Notice 80% coverage, 6 o'clock hour, moderate to heavy rain. These yellows to oranges and some reds, that's where it's heavier. Those are downpours that make it very hard to see. Still an 80% coverage, got only a couple of little pauses here, 8, 9 a.m. Sticking with that here until around 10 to 11, kind of closing up those few gaps. So this is where that spins in, and then it kind of closes up because what it's going to do is actually start retreating back east as that center of low pressure that's nearby. You may feel this in your joints between the humidity, the rainfall, and the actual low pressure that continues through. So notice 1 to 2 o'clock, you start catching some breaks on the plateau, 2 to 3, trying to work it out of the valley. Not completely dry behind it, but not persistent rainfall either. And then that moves out of northeast Tennessee. So that's why our first alert weather day is until 4 p.m. So at least right when a lot of folks are leaving work, you don't have to deal with the heavy rainfall, but you will have to deal with those ponding on the streets still, and even that back spray on the interstates. As we'll have more scattered showers still falling, you see mostly cloudy views becoming spottier on that rain this evening. And then these clouds will actually close right back up with some fog as well tonight before we have the next cold front head our way. You know, so today it's tropical rains impacting your Veterans Day forecast and keeping us from really going very far at all in temperature 60 to start 61 at 11 and 63 this afternoon. All we have is that on and off rainfall and some pauses at best. So it does add up to kind of pumping out that half an inch to an inch with isolated higher amounts. Let's zoom in here so I can show you a lot of us are going to get into this three quarters to inch and a quarter range. See these isolated higher amounts there spiking up to about an inch and a half in parts of Knox and Blunt. A couple specs like that in Loudoun County to Roan and Megs Ray Bledsoe. Good three quarters of an inch, mainly on the plateau. Some isolated higher amounts there. You can right around that inch line up through northeast Tennessee to southeastern Kentucky. You can see this lone spot kind of closer to half an inch. But that's what happens when you get a good couple of gaps in. And then northeast Tennessee still in that one inch range with isolated higher amounts as well. So when we get into tomorrow and the cold front's headed this way, well, it's spotty rain in the morning, but then here comes the batch of rain that will actually be bringing down our temperatures. So we start out in the morning, well, technically overnight while you're sleeping with the high, and then we're going to have this batch of rain scoot through 9 to 10. So this is where we got light to some moderate rainfall, and it's a cold rain. Remember, the temperature's coming down, so it does make a big difference, even though it's moving fast. 11 a.m. to noon, scattered showers still moving on east, and really it's spotty then for the rest of the afternoon, but staying cloudy and getting colder because that cold air is still on the way. So then for that rainfall potential tomorrow, obviously not as impressive as tropical rains. But again, that cold front zips through quickly, so it drops about a tenth to a quarter of an inch for most of our area and then heads on out, which does mean that really the biggest impact is the chill. Like I said, it's cold rains in your I'm All Vol forecast presented by Food City. It's scattered right at the start of the game, but then becomes spotty. So if you're going to be in Neyland, this is kind of a poncho over warm orange layers. The warm orange layers will be the handiest thing as we drop from 49 at the start to low 40s by the end of the game. Got a noon kickoff. Normally we'd be warming. Temperatures dipping because of the passage of that cold front to start the day because big picture this is moving on and dropping those temperatures down to 20s, which is why we could have some spotty mountaintop snowfall early Sunday morning, but at least things will be clear and dry for a couple of days. The next front is headed our way for Tuesday. So we've got some more ups and downs in your first alert eight day planner. Again, your first alert weather day today, heavy rain bands from that tropical system dropping temperature tomorrow. That's why I noted 52 in the morning for Saturday and low 40s in the afternoon. Just to remind you, it's getting cooler, but then that does set the stage for the rest of your first alert eight day planner to stay pretty chilly.